Hey, hey, everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Steph. And we right here are Rampant Design. Welcome to no episode number eight, eight of Running Rampant. Eight. We're a little show that takes you behind the scenes of Rampant Design, talks a little bit about what it's like to run a small business, and then, of course, we open ourselves up to questions from our fine furry friends. That's you on the interwebs. We are coming at you live from Las live. Vegas. It's uh, been a whirlwind, for sure. It's been good. So what are we going to talk about this week? We're talking about NAB, because, well, we're NAB. at NAB. <laughs> NAB. <laughs> we are actually at NAB right now in the hotel room doing this live, so we're going to talk about NAB and all of the fun stuff that goes along with it. So, coming at you with NAB! Alright, so we are at the 2016 NAB show. We call it all, all we call it NAB. Um, it's been crazy. It's what is today? Thursday? Uh, Thursday. Thursday. So we've been here since. No, Friday. No, Thursday. No, today's Thursday. Yeah. We've been here since uh, the previous Friday, um, starting off with the world famous Mando party, which is the uh, editor's retreat party. Um, like about a, what, a, would you say like a mile behind the stratosphere? Best view of Vegas That's ever. Un unbelievable. Uh, so pretty. Hanging out with all these great people like Brian Tario, Jeff Greenberg, Wes Plate, all the really great editors retreat people, really great place to meet and, and network. And that started the whole thing off for us. Saturday and Sunday were just a whirlwind of meeting after meeting after meeting. Yes. Some some meetings we can talk about, some meetings we can't. Uh, lots of private meetings off the strip, which was right. interesting. Yeah. Uh, in these deep, dark, secret alleyways talking about the future. Uh, very exciting stuff. We cannot talk about it now, but uh, I can say this. There's going to be some really crazy cool projects, and it's all from her, from Final Cut staff. So, uh, yeah, so what? Sunday was the uh, Blue Collar Post Collective gathering. Meet, met some amazing people there. Yep. Got to reconnect. Katie Henson, who runs the, uh, is one of the people who runs the Blue Collar yep. Post Collective. One of the nicest people you've ever met in your entire life. She's amazing. She also gave me some sriracha. Sriracha. She makes the best hot sauce on the planet. I could literally just sit there and eat it all day long. Um, so what else? Uh, uh, that Saturday or that Sunday night was—I don't even remember. It's such a blur. It's such a blur. Uh, what Monday? It was the first day of the show floor. Yep. Um, our amazing uh, PR agent Kevin Burke had us so busy we had probably a meeting every half hour. Yeah, from eight to four. It was a long day. And then the nighttime events happened, which are other yep. private meetings and dinners and and things like that. Um, it's just wow. Uh, um, no, we did not have a booth. We got hit up so many times, um, it, and it was the best decision we ever made. It really was. Um, there was really no reason for us to have a booth this year. We spent all, all the time in personal meetings that we could have never done had we been running the booth. That's correct. Um, lots of private meetings, like I said before, little little hotel rooms and suites along, along the strips, uh, strip with uh, a bunch of, of, of companies. Yes. I mean, just on... Uh, it's, I wish I could talk about the things that we've been talking about. It's unbelievable the, the things we have planned in the future, and we're super grateful. Uh, we've run into so many amazing people. Yes, so many. Like this, it's just sort of a nab minus the interviews and all that stuff. It's like kind of like a family reunion. We get to meet everybody that we talk to on the internet, on Twitter, on Facebook. So it's just fun to reconnect and and connect with people that we've never connected with before and make new friends. So. Yeah, we've made a lot of new friends. We've connected with old friends. It's just great to see everybody. The networking at the show is unbelievable. It's very um, good. We've, we've spent nights with uh, so many different uh, and amazing people. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's, uh, if you've never been to NAB, you should go just for the networking aspect alone. There's also really amazing classes, lots of great tech. Had some just amazing one-on-one -on -one conversations with people about uh, collaboration, about uh, potentially working with each other on, on things that no one else has ever done before. So there's lots of um, lots of excitement. Yeah, you know? NAB's an exciting show. There's yeah. a lot going on all the time. It just oh. it never stops. It's show floor and then after parties and it's uh, networking, networking, networking. And I'm very happy we didn't have a booth this year. It was very me, me too because we good. stayed out till at least four or five a.m. every single night. Um, because the after hours meetings are probably more important than the business hours meetings. So um, it, it, it's, <laughs> there's just so much data that we have to process from this trip. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. We've tried to uh, uh, broadcast live a couple times. I hope you all got to see that. We'll probably do it a couple more times, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Silly stuff. Just yeah. 
uh, showing you Vegas and showing you what we're doing, getting set up with, getting going into the show and getting everything set up for interviews and stuff like that. So it's been fun. It's been such yeah. a great, such a great trip. Um, we're kind of mellowing out. Uh, just <laughs> ran into so many amazing people. Um, we got to hang out with uh, uh, Ben Barden and Walter Biscardi, Ben King and Charlotte. Uh, Brent Willett, Tim David, Jim Cantor, Brian Tario, John Dickinson. It was awesome. He was doing this crazy demo uh, for Gen Arts, and it had Rampant in it. That was a, a best day. It's always great when you see one of your your the, the people you idolize, the people that you uh, just I really respect John's work, and it's very humbling to walk by and see a demo and there's Rampant in it. It's like that's our stuff. I see it. So great, yeah. Um, oh, one of my favorite photographers on the planet and quite possibly one of the most talented people in the universe, we ran into Ben Von Wong. Yeah, that was cool. Hey. I like, I love his his photography. It's He's amazing. a really cool guy. We're at, the, the cool thing about NAB is you don't necessarily know you're going to run into people. You're going to an event or a thing or a booth or a meeting and you're walking by and you're like, oh, oh hey. Hey, Sal, so, there you are. I mean, we, we, we ran into Seth Worley like five times, it seems. And that's cool, too, because he's one of my all-time favorite directors, so it's really great to sit down and talk to him real quick or just have a quick chat, you know, high-five. We didn't do any awkward high-fives. We no. have to do one together. <sighs> um, <laughs> speaking of Seth Worley, we, have, we, of course, saw Aaron Rabinowitz, one of the nicest guys you've ever met in your life. Uh, we saw Harry Frank, uh, Adam Bed. Of course, we hung out a ton with Ben Barden, Adam Bedford, Monica Daniel, uh, Ben King, um, those guys, are, are, they're all amazing. Uh, the, go, the Going Postal crew is probably the nicest people you'll ever meet. I mean, that's the thing. Is I don't think we met anybody who was mean. Everyone was just so genuinely kind and, and nice to us and uh, just a lot of fun to hang out with, yeah. you know. Um, uh, who, who, I mean, I'm trying to, oh, we hung out with Jeff Greenberg a bunch. He's really great. Um, Thank you, Jeff, for the birthday shot. Yes. That during, was amazing. During the uh, after hours, one of the after hours party at the Adobe party, which yep. was after the media motion ball yes. on Monday. So much stuff going on. Um, Stephanie uh, turned 21 uh, at midnight of that party, and Jeff Greenberg bought her a drink. That was very, very nice. Very, very nice. Very. He's awesome. He is so awesome. Of course, we ran into our, our good friend Dave from Iographer. We went to dinner with him. Uh, I love the fact that we get to just sit down and talk with him. He's he's a huge inspiration to us. He's a, a, a brilliant businessman and entrepreneur, and um, he's really taught us a lot. Yeah, we've learned we learned a lot from his experiences and uh, with small business and what he's gone through. So it's always a fantastic time to spend a few minutes with him. He's such so such a busy guy. He's not only is he a busy guy, but you can't go five feet without, without someone going, Dave, you know. <laughs> There's only one other person that we know, and, and, and we love him equally. It's Tim David from Apple. Everybody knows this guy, so you, it's almost impossible to get a sentence across before you hear, Hey, Tim! You know, uh, that's NAB. I mean, you're right in the middle of a conversation, and 50 people come in and pull either you away or the other person away, or they jump in the conversation. Um, it's just, it, there's just, I don't know, it's a surreal bombardment of the senses. I, I think the only way to explain NAB is how a child would feel going to Walt Disney World for the first time. There's just so much hitting you all at once. I agree. Yeah. Um, and it's nonstop. It's from 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning through back to 7 or 8 o'clock the, the following morning. Um, it just so, keeps going. Yeah, it, it just keeps stop. going. Um, of course, we saw Katie Henson from the BCPC. Uh, she is one of the nicest people and the coolest people yep. on the planet. Um, she's just awesome. She uh, sent us to the Wacom booth or Wacom booth. I've never... It's like GIF and JIF. I'm sure there's a, <laughs> there's a right way of saying it and I always say it the wrong way. So... Um, she sent us over there. We checked out that new Cintiq. It's freaking. It's like humongous. It's the size of it's the size of a car door, and it's and I want three. Um, but the CFO, what's your favorite word? No. Yeah, exactly. Um, Kylie Pena, we saw her multiple times. We were desperate to try to get a picture with her again uh, the following day, but she was only here for a couple days, and she's a rock star. I mean, you just if you see her, uh, get the opportunity to talk to her right then and there because you probably won't get to see her again. Everybody wants to talk to her. She's awesome. Um, Christine Steele. Uh, there's, oh, I'm so happy. The very, very first interview that we did was Stephanie's interview. And I'm so grateful that this year she's actually getting uh, interviewed. Um, uh, it's very important that people understand that Stephanie is mission critical. Um, the company just wouldn't be running. We wouldn't be where we are today without her. I mean, she does everything, literally everything. Web design, customer service, emails, phone calls, brokering deals dealing with uh, giveaways, uh, dealing with uh, just 
everything. And now she's, fun, you know, of course she's Final Cut Steph, so now she's doing training. So she got to, well, you tell, you tell them. I got to be interviewed by the uh, Gals and Gear organization that are, um, what would be considered a pop-up yeah, it's a pop-up movement. movement. It's a uh, they had a panel. Uh, I mean, they're it's it's amazing, just awesome. amazing group of uh, of women who are just you know shining light on the fact that there needs to be more women in the forefront of this industry. And so it was amazing to get to interview with Christine and uh, all the people from uh, her group. And it was just it was awesome to get to talk about our company and my role in it. So that was kind of cool. And then they had a panel with Katie Henson and. Um, there was other, it was just really cool. It was a cool event. And was and, really and you can see that interview. We'll put a link in the description, but you can see the interview. Um, lots of really great, talented women uh, being interviewed. And of course, they had a, a, an awesome panel. Uh, Christine's super, super nice, too. Yes. Uh, you know, it's, it's funny. We've always been in a booth, and we've never got to meet most of these people because they don't have time to go to everyone's individual booth. It's just not possible. There's, what, like 18,000 booths or something crazy like that. So... It's been a vastly different experience for us where we can sit down and actually have a conversation and meetings. And, uh, you know, we met with a big company in our industry, starts with an A. That's all I can say. I would have, we would have never had that opportunity or those meetings or those discussions or the plans for the future if we were tied down to a booth. It right. just wouldn't, it just, once again, it's like, oh, sorry. Um, for those of you who found us on the show floor, it was so awesome to see you. For those of you who missed us on the show floor, which there was a lot, we got a lot of text messages. It's hard to coordinate. Um, if we're in a similar area and we could have met up, that's great. Sometimes it just it wasn't possible. We never had more than 10 to 15 minutes in any section because um, our schedule was constantly uh, going. And um, I mean, we had <laughs> maybe 12 to 15 uh, meetings scheduled per day, and then it would double from there because uh, we'd be like, oh, you need to meet this person or you need to meet that person. Tim David's great at that. He's like, oh, do you know so-and-so? Come on. I'm like... <laughs> Tim's awesome. Uh, Dave's the same way. He's like, I want to introduce you to these next 10 people. And so yeah. you end up getting into these uh, conversations. And it's just. Nab's a cool place. It Nab, really Nab's is. the best. Nab's the best. Um, of course, we run into George Kennedy all the time. Um, I kind of scared him a little bit. We were doing Stephanie's interview. And um, I didn't want to look at Stephanie because I didn't want to uh, distract her because, you know, I might go like, you know, I might do something crazy. Um, so I was looking out the window. We were on the second floor of, was it a Central Hall or North Hall? North Hall. North Hall. And I looked down and I see George Kennedy. Love George. And so I thought, I'm just going to take several pictures of him and send it to him and see what happens. And he's like, what is going on? So that was fun. <laughs> it's very stalkerish. Very stalkerish. Mm -hmm. uh, but I gave him a big hug afterwards. Um, of course, we spent a lot of time with Brent Willett. He's one of my favorite motion graphics artists. Uh, if you don't know his work, you need to check it out. Um, and... Um, we also hung out with Rob Bernholz. Yep. It's always great. We live, what, 20 miles away from him? We do, right down the street. We, somehow we only end up seeing him in Vegas. In, in so. Vegas. <laughs> um, Chris Babotis uh, from Metal, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. We had a long conversation. Love that guy. Uh, West Plate, uh, he's super popular. We got 30 seconds with him, but it was very cool to talk with him before nine other people grabbed him and said, we need to talk. Michael Thomas, we ended up having a great conversation with him. He's a really yeah. great guy. You need to check out his show. Um, look, uh, if you don't know who he is, uh, we'll put a link down there and uh, check him out. He's a really great guy. Uh, Eric Addison, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. You know, it's just all over and over and over again. There are all these great people. We've got to spend some time with him. Yeah. Uh, Zach's and Alex Dow. Goodness gracious, I love those two. They're like, they're, are you going to speak today? <laughs> I'm letting you talk. <laughs> uh, is that, I love Zach's and Alex, and they're they're about to just do, just do something huge that's all I can say they're about to do something huge Randy Altman I, I love Randy she's amazing we were on her show uh, Post Perspective live I yes. believe um, that was a lot of fun and again thankfully I, I love Randy because Stephanie's in the interviews um, we had some people that would not allow Stephanie to be in the interview for one reason or another um, and uh, we don't like that no. so shame on you uh, it's 2016 you should not have those views or opinions and she's not uh, I I am married to Stephanie, but I am not bringing my wife in tow. Stephanie's not my anything. She's her own person, and she's amazing. And um, this year was better. This year was this year was better. We only got a little bit of it. I didn't this year. hear as many times. Oh, it's really cute that you brought your wife. So. Still happened a couple times. It happened times. a few times, but I'll take a few. And you got less you got snubbed year. on at least two interviews. Yeah. 
but it, cannot stand that nonsense. We're getting there. It's we're growth. Getting there. It's way better <laughs> so, than it was four years ago when they're like, is. "Oh, so cute you brought your wife," or "Oh, the old ball and chain, huh? She won't let you come out here alone, huh?" <laughs> uh, and Serena, I love Serena. Yes. Uh, she is. I don't. She. She's just amazing. Uh, and if, of course, if we didn't mention your name, I'm sorry. Um, I'm exhausted. And uh, I still love you. We love each and every one of you. Um, so that's basically it for this show. We just, uh, we'll just we show you a bunch of stuff of what we're doing. Uh, I really wanted to run into Rolo from uh, Whipster. We saw him very briefly at the Apple very Party. Briefly. Or, no, Apple Party. Adobe. There is no Apple Party. Adobe okay. Party. And um, he was exhausted. He had just flown in. He gave us a big hug. He said, I want to talk to you later, which is what everybody says. And then you never see him again. Just too, too many people to see and do and uh, do like one-on-one -on -one interviews with. Um, but that's about it. We did uh, a thing with uh, what VMix Live. That was really cool. That was awesome. Sean's best interview I've ever seen. Uh, we'll have to post a link to find the link to that and post it down there. Um, yeah, I hope they. I hope they have it. it, it everything it was, was live. live everything was so I hope live. they they have it somewhere. Well, hopefully we can find it. But uh, so it was uh, Rob Baynard who interviewed him, right? I love Rob. And uh, he did a was switching between his interview and showing rip and stuff. So it was a really cool interview and a really Sean did a great job. He kicked it out of the park so. and they called you out they're like hey final cut stuff so that's awesome um yeah. so yeah um so if you don't know uh we did have a booth and that's and we probably won't have a booth again this was way too successful to, to do that it was definitely more successful not having a booth this year versus yeah past years and so we were we didn't know how it was going to be and uh so we're we're kind of i'm i'm pleasantly happy that it all worked out and we were able to have the press meeting still, even though we didn't have a location to meet at. We just told them to meet at a certain location. So that worked out really well. Nobody really gave us any trouble with that. And it was just a really good show. We had, uh, you know, just meeting people and the, like networking and doing the uh, connections is probably the biggest part that we're trying to get better at and with the company and people to know who we are. So like we do the show. so. Um, yeah, for some reason people still think we're a big company. It's this is it. This is rampant. Ooh, rampant, rampant, rampant. Um, so it's important that we all uh, spend time one on one and just talk. And we got a lot of great feedback on what people like about our stuff, what they'd like to see us, from us in the future. Um, so many crazy new things planned that's not even like something we had even discussed. And uh, there's just a lot of really cool collaborations and a lot of really interesting stuff coming up. I'm actually anxious to get out of Vegas, back home, and start working. Um, plus, you know, you've been in Vegas for a week. It's, I, I think as a vacation it would be fine, but um, uh, the show wears on you. It's very, very exhausting. It's taxing. It's taxing. Um, There's a lot going on. Your brain is always going. and. But one thing I have to say, which is very simple, strange that's never happened to us before, is we got pulled over multiple times going, hey, that's rampant, or hey... Several people said, I watched your show. That's crazy. It must have been all four of you who watched the show were there. Um, one person grabbed Steph and said, you're Final Cut Steph. I'm like, we're like, it was pretty cool. That was wild. Um, we're not used to that. So that was pretty wild. Uh, yeah, what else? I mean, what else is there? We've got uh, 14 new products uh, that, that we finally finished up. Stephanie's made eight new Final Cut plugins, and there's going to be so, so many more. I would say by this time next year, how many, you think? 80 to 100, maybe, yeah, yeah. hopefully. We're going to crank it out. Done. I'm going to jump in on those as well. Um, and Seth's going to help out with the After Effects stuff. Uh, it's just so much going on. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's been great. It's been great. Did a bunch of shows, did a bunch of interviews, met with a bunch of people. Um, I believe, what is today, Thursday, I believe we have a few more interviews to go to. So. I think we have some meetings that have pop-up meetings that happen hey, let's meet on Thursday. So we're like, okay, mm -hmm. yay. I would say my feet are killing me. I, they, I think they're planning a mutiny. <laughs> there are no good shoes for NAB. No. There are just, there, it, there's no such thing. We've, I've tried everything from tennis shoes to Crocs to other shoes, like other types of shoes. She went barefoot and, one year? I did not go barefoot ever. That's it's gross. gross. That's really gross. But um, it's hard when you're on the concrete floor and you're standing and you're not moving and you're doing, I think the, our watches, our pedometers were like, you met your goal and we were there for an hour. So it's a lot of walking, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, 
hardship on your feet. Yeah, we were averaging between 18,000 and 22,000 steps a day. I know, I think Adam Bedford showed me his watch, and it just was like twice that or something crazy, so I felt kind of like slothy. I'm like, you know, <laughs> I need to, you know, step up my game. Uh, <sighs> so, yeah, that's that. that's uh, that. I was told my British accent was flawless, so that's cool. That's a thing. That didn't happen. <sighs> it happened. So people said it was flawless. One person said it was flawless. Nice. You talking about me? Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's that. Um, really, uh, we don't have any questions. Um, not this week. We? Not this nope. week. Um, we will uh, continue back next week. Please hit us up with your questions. Um, always stay positive. Keep moving forward. Um, we got a lot of people who re reached out to us uh, personally and said that uh, they like knowing that um, that we have had struggles like they have. They're running businesses themselves, and you know, uh, this is hard. This is not. Uh, I love what I do with uh, with a, with a passion, and I know you do as well. I do. Yep. Uh, but it doesn't mean you're not going to run into obstacles. Uh, you just got to ebb and flow. You got to uh, be liquid, you know. Uh, when, when problems arrive, you just come up with a solution and a workaround. So keep moving forward, everybody. Thank you so much for all your love and support. We could not have done this without you. Uh, we got so many people uh, uh, reaching out to us at the show. I was really kind of surprised about that. I, I figured we'd sit back in the corner, like, texting. Like, didn't happen. Didn't happen. Not even a for a second. Show. It was a phenomenal show. It was good. Got to spend some real quality time with some really great people. Um, if you've never thought about going, uh, you need to. I definitely recommend going to NAB. Yeah, I definitely recommend to. Um, it's good. Also, oh, I do have to say one thing. Stephanie pointed out there was a couple people who were kind of stalking us and saying, hey, that's rampant. Um, I was in the middle of talking to a, during an interview, so I didn't get to see this. Don't be afraid. We are pretty boring people. We're not going to bite. <laughs> definitely not going to bite. Uh, come on up and say hey. Uh, by the time she told me and I got out of the interview, they were gone, so I, I couldn't run after them. Um, but you don't have to lurk in the corner. It's all good. We'd love to see you. We'd love to talk to you. Several people did. We met somebody uh, from Ohio. But, I, mean, I mean, there's so many people, and they just came out and we just talked, talked about what they do, and it's really cool to find out, you know, how you use the stuff and if you'd like it, and uh, even if you don't like it. We didn't. Nobody said that though, no. but which is a good thing because I'm cry a little bit, but uh, or a lot, or a, a lot of bit. Uh, yeah, that's it. We're, uh, don't forget to go to runningrampant.biz. .biz! Everything is on, uh, what, Stitcher, Cloud, SoundCloud. iTunes. iTunes. YouTube, YouTube Vimeo. Vimeo. It's probably in your local grocery store. I don't know. I, you know, I, I don't know where you're going to... I'm just... It's been probably a week since I've slept. We haven't had a lot of sleep. No. So, then I'm going to go home and not sleep and work some more, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, we got to celebrate Final Cut Steph's birthday. Yeah, it was so much fun. it was fun. so much fun. Thank you for, to everyone who helped celebrate. It was a, it was actually a great 24 hours. I can actually literally say it was 24 hours. It was from midnight to midnight the next night. So uh, thank you for everyone. Uh, the birthday wishes were great, and it was great to everyone, you know, saying happy birthday well, to me. So it made it very special. Well, poor, poor Stephanie. She has to celebrate her birthday every year at NAB. And so um, it's usually kind of depressing. Uh, this time we got to go out to a nice meal. Um, we got to spend time with a lot of great people. So many people showed up to help celebrate. So that, that really, made things really a lot nice. better for her. I mean, that was it was very kind and, and lovely of everybody. Uh, and just everyone cheering you at, at midnight. I mean, it was it was literally 24 hours of Final Cut stuff birthday. So that was pretty neat. That made things a lot uh, a lot better than it's normally been. Normally when we have a booth, uh, all we do is grab something to eat and go to bed because uh, we've been up since 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning and been running the booth for 12 hours and then yeah. going home. Yep, uh, yep, yep. It was so, fun. Yeah. It was really, really fun. Oh, Thank come on. Thank you to everyone. It so was good. a birthday for the memory. It was, I'll never a forget A birthday it. for the memory. <laughs> that sounds like one of those trashy books you buy at the, in the back of a grocery store. <gasps> Ooh, look. It's my favorite book. Oh, do, do your British accent. No, this no, is no, fun. No, no, no. Flawless. No, no I've been... Uh, Apparently the biggest insult you can be called is being called Dick Van Dyke, and I've been called that a lot. Um, hey, you know, anytime we, people can take shots at me, uh, you know, it's have, fun, have fun. fun at my expense, life is it's good. It's all in good fun. It was a lot of fun. That part I'm going to miss. When we get back, back to our bubble, it's just going to be us and the cats, and we'll be like, Hello, Gottos. <sighs> 
Okay, so that's yeah. all for today. We're <laughs> we gotta go. Turn off our deliriousness. Um, thank you again for watching. Check us out on Stitcher, iTunes, YouTube, Vimeo, SoundCloud, all those good things, and RunningRampant.biz. Biz. And check out our products. The na oh, the nab sale will be extended. We have decided. We had so many people oh, email yeah, saying yeah. that. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm not home yet, or I'm flying from here back to whatever country they're from, So, it, and it's a long flight, so we're going to extend it until next week, so yay. That's a good thing. Yeah, we'll announce that on our other channels, too. Yeah. So, you know, the eight of you who watch this show, tell your friends. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Just, just remember, you can get all the, fun, the new plugins for 12 bucks. I mean, come on. $12. $12. $12. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, everybody. We love each, each blah, blah, blah. we love each and every one of you, and you're all amazing. And uh, we are nothing without you. And uh, we will just be eternally grateful for everything that you all do for us. Um, so hit us up. Let us know um, if you were at NAB, and let us know if you have any questions. We need some more questions for the show. Yeah, we're running out of things to say. Clearly, we ran out of things to say about 25 <laughs> minutes ago. So. Help us. Help us. Help us. All right, guys. We're going to go, and uh, I think I'm going to jump off. We're on the 20th. I'm going to jump into, from here into the pool. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it's a thing. Cannonball. It's Vegas. Belly flop. All right. On that note, we will thank you for watching, and we will talk to you later. <laughs> Thanks for everything. <laughs> Running rampant. Run rampant, y'all. <laughs> I don't know where she gets this energy. Hi guys, we're leaving. It's been a great nap. For sure. We have a lot of doing customer service in the airport. <laughs> so is it safe to say it never stops? No, it doesn't stop, ever. Thanks, humidity. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Wow, we're back in sunny Florida. <laughs> the sunshine stays.